egg spot. Hey, this is Ricardo, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a heatsink from a Dell Latitude E5550. If you're looking for parts for this laptop, go to our website and use this coupon for a 5% off discount. First, you're going to remove the screws from the access panel. Next, pry open the access panel using a flathead screwdriver. Now you're going to remove the screw from the battery, loosen the cable, and then lift battery from the bottom base. Pry the clips outward until the memory pops up. It's now safe to remove the memory. Now you want to remove screws from the hard drive. Loosen cable and lift the hard drive from the base. Gently unclip keyboard ribbon cable from underneath the battery. Carefully pry and lift bezel from keyboard. Next, we're going to remove the screws from the keyboard. Lift keyboard while carefully guiding ribbon cables through palm rest. The next thing you want to do is remove the screws from the base. Now remove screws and ribbons from motherboard. Now gently use your fingers to pry open palm rest. Remove screws from hinge covers. Now you're going to remove the hinge covers. Next you're going to remove the screws from the hinges. Now remove the screw from the LCD cable bracket. Loosen cable and turn over laptop. Guide cables through base and remove LCD display assembly. Disconnect the audio cable from the motherboard. Now disconnect cable and remove system fan from laptop. Disconnect DC jack and speaker cables from motherboard. Now remove screws and lift motherboard from base. Finally, remove screws and lift heatsink from motherboard. Need more? Check out these other tutorials. For LCD screens, click here. For motherboards, click here. For heatsinks, click here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give our video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out PartsPeople.com where we have hundreds of tutorials and hundreds of thousands of parts.